living flame send the fire your blood bought gift today we claim send the fire today look down think about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego now they were threatened with a terrible death at the command of King Nebuchadnezzar when he proclaimed this is in Daniel 3. I'm going to read verses 17 and 18. And he said, if you don't bow down and worship the statue, you're going to get thrown into the furnace. But they said to him, if that's the case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. And he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. They were not sure of their fate, but they were sure of their God. Can you say that? I mean, you know, these, these accounts in Scripture, they're there for a reason. Whatever was written in earlier times, Paul says, were written for our instruction and encouragement. Again, like Paul. Can I say in the face of every storm, of every attack of the enemy, who desires our love to grow cold, and desires to steal our joy, and destroy our peace, can I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth for all the world to hear, that if God is for us, who can be against us? What shall separate us from the love of Christ? In all these things we overwhelmingly conquer. That's all from Romans chapter 8, his letter to the Romans, his letter to you. God speaking through Paul to you, to me, to Mark, to Alice. This is the thing. We are supposed to overwhelmingly conquer. Because you know what? How can you lose? It's like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Because the work we're supposed to do is to believe. To believe. And when Jesus returns, he said, will he, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They weren't sure. They were not sure no, were. of what would happen at that fiery furnace. But they knew God they believed, God. they knew that God had the power to deliver them from that furnace. Right. And they said so. They confessed that. And they said, if he doesn't, so what? We'll go up, we'll go up to see him. We'll go up as a, we'll go up as a burnt offering. <laughs> we'll go up. Remember, present yourselves a living and holy sacrifice. Right. That's your service of worship. But they knew one way or the other, God would deliver them. Because it is. It's, it's about the score at the end of the game. That's right. It's about our destination, certain and sure, that will give us peace during the journey. Think about that. Think about that. You, you are not suffering trials and tribulations like the Apostle Paul did in that storm. God used him not only because he knew he would get delivered. Yes. That's why he said, I believe it's going to turn out just like God said. But he was there to bless all of the others, 276, I think it was, who were on board the ship with him. He was there to bless them and encourage them. And people got saved. And when they, you know what? The ship got shipwrecked. Yes, it did. Go read Acts 27. Mm -hmm. But the people were delivered. Amen. The people were delivered. Of course, in the process, they had to cut out loose the lifeboats. Mm -hmm. That's another story. Only him. Trust Be because him. you can't trust in the things of the That's world. Right. They won't deliver you. The end of the matter is indeed better than its beginning. Hallelujah. The end of your matter is written. If you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, that gift from the Father for your eternal salvation. Because when you do that, he fills you. You become the temple of the Holy Spirit. And these things we're talking about now are the fruit of the Holy Spirit who lives within you. The love that we've talked about the joy that we've talked about, the peace that we are talking about, and knowing that when you're filled with the peace that's the fruit of the Holy Spirit, we'll be blessed with the patience that comes with true faith. Long suffering. Like Abraham had. As the testimony of the Word proclaims of him. And so, having patiently waited, he obtained the promise. Hebrews 6.15 Thank you, Lord. Peace leads to patience. You know, I talked about this. I've been talking about it each week, and I will continue to do we finish this series on the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. These are like links in a chain. Yes. Yes. Having that love of God within you 
filled with that love of God in your heart, poured into your heart through the Holy Spirit, is what, what the Word says, right? That leads to joy. Yes. Because when, you're, when you are manly in love, <laughs> I promise you what? It's joy. You're going to be filled with joy. And when you have that joy, you're going to have a perfect peace yes. because you know the one who loves you. Nothing is impossible with God. And He loves you. He takes care of the things that He loves. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong. They're weak. He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so.